Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be giving you guys an inside look at Steve Harvey's insane Atlanta mansion. Let's begin. Number 5. A little bit about Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey was born on the 17th of January in the year 1957 in Welch, West Virginia. By profession, he is a comedian, an actor, and an author, followed by being a television and radio personality. He gained fame initially because of his witty sense of humor. However, eventually, over time, he became more known for his self-help advice and also giving relationship advice. Steve grew up with his parents and older siblings in Cleveland. He did not complete his university since he attended Kent State University but decided to leave before he could graduate. He ended up returning back to Cleveland and started looking for any work which he could find. Mainly, he would work in sales. In the year 1985, Steve was selling insurance. But this was the year in which he won an amateur night contest at a local community club, and this made him take a decision to focus on becoming successful in stand-up comedy. Harvey used observational humor drawn from situations in his own life and spent the next few years largely on the road, playing in any club willing to book him. By the early 1990s, he had become a headliner in well-known comedy clubs in big cities. He also appeared on TV on the 1990 Johnny Walker National Comedy Search and in 1993 on cable TV network HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam. Number 4. The Mansion – Details this beautiful property is located at 4110 Paces Ferry Road. This home covers a total of 17 acres of land. The mansion presents an estimate of about 34,688 square feet of living space with 7 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, 2-story foyer with grand double staircase, 2-story great room, 2-story formal dining room, gourmet kitchen with double islands, 2-story family room with rear staircase, home office, home theater, gym, spa, and an underground ballroom with catering kitchen. If you thought we were done here, you are wrong. The outdoors of the mansion are inclusive of two gated entrances, a motor court with a fountain, terraces, a huge infinity edge swimming pool with a bar, a guardhouse, a guest house lighted tennis court, oh, and also a remote controlled airplane runway. Number three, Steve Harvey is the third owner of this mega mansion. Steve Harvey is the third owner of this remarkable mansion over the span of five years. The mansion was previously owned by the filmmaker Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry decided to sell this property to televangelist David Turner in 2016 for a whopping price of $17.5 million. David Turner ended up selling the home two years later. He listed the home for $25 million. However, he ended up reducing the price to $21 million and ultimately sold it to Harvey at a $2.5 million loss. Tyler has had a lot of great memories from the house and is happy his friend Steve and Marjorie will be calling it home. A source told TMZ about the house's former owners and their reaction to the news that Steve Harvey will be making it his home. Number 2. How many properties does Steve own in Atlanta? As it turns out, Steve does not own one, but two properties in Atlanta. We've already talked about the mega mansion he recently purchased, now we will be talking about the house which he owns in Atlanta, Georgia. Steve purchased the Atlanta home back in 2010 for $3.4 million, and it appears that the house was worth its price. The house consists of a waterfall, yes you heard that right, apart from that it also consists of a huge grill, a mini golf course, and a cigar cabinet. Furthermore, the house also features 6 bedrooms and 8 baths, and the total distance the house covers is 9,258 square feet, which has proved to be a cause of absolute luxury for the Harvey family. Number 1. What other properties are owned by Steve Harvey? Starting off with the mansion in California, rumors have been circulating for a while about Steve Harvey buying a mansion in California since his series, which was renamed Steve, had been moved to California. According to the rumors, Steve may have purchased an 11,234 square foot property in the renowned Beverly Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. Harvey and his wife have been reported to invest an amount of $110,000 per month in their remote property above the Beverly Hills. The next property we'll talk about is the one located in Chicago. It is a penthouse that was bought by Steve in the year 2015. This penthouse covers a total of 5,500 square feet altogether. You can find this penthouse on the 88th floor of Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago, Illinois. However, you won't find Steve residing in it since he does not own the property anymore. He ended up selling the condo for $7.7 .7 million in 2018. The last but certainly not least property which we would like to mention is the 7,430 square foot property in Little Elm, Texas. 
Comparatively to the other mansions we've mentioned, not a lot of details are known about this particular property. However, in the property records, it stated that the house was built in the year 2003. Furthermore, it consists of five bedrooms and six baths and sits on 3.6 acres of land. The house had been on and off the market for a while, however, it ended up being sold. We're not aware of the price it was sold for, however, according to the price list, the house was listed for $1,075,000. That brings us to the end of the video. What do you guys think? Let us know everything down in the comment section below. Lastly, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. With that said, take care and goodbye.